Hi everyone. September 24, 2019. Yesterday, September 23rd, 500 climate scientists wrote to the United Nations, there is no climate emergency. What do you make of this world? It has become creepy. It's creepy. It's like this dark, surreal, absurd play where so few care about the truth. Few, only a few care. Think that the truth is really important. Think it's valuable. Climate scientists write to United Nations on September 23rd. Yes. They have officially notified the United Nations that there is no climate crisis and that spending trillions on a non-problem is cruel and imprudent. How many of us have been posting tens of thousands of scientists in the United States have signed a statement, man is not causing global warming. Thousands of scientists around the world dispute the IPCC's findings. Now we have 500 esteemed scientists writing the Secretary General of the United Nations yesterday stating there is no climate emergency. The general circulation models of climate on which international policy is at present founded are unfit for their purpose. Therefore, it is cruel as well as imprudent to advocate the squandering of trillions on the basis of results from such immature models. Current climate policies pointlessly, grievously undermine the economic system, putting lives at risk in countries denied access to affordable, continuous electric power. Electrical power. Huh. We urge you to follow a climate policy based on sound science, realistic economics, and genuine concern for those harmed by costly but unnecessary attempts at mitigation. We ask you to place the declaration on the agenda of your imminent New York session. We also invite you to organize with us a constructive high-level meeting between world-class scientists on both sides of the climate debate early in 2020. Let us know your thoughts about such a joint meeting. Do you think the United Nations, the Secretary General, is going to take up that uh, proposal? Do you think they're going to be invited. No, no. Here are some of the names of the scientists. There is no climate emergency, natural as well as anthropogenic factors causing warming. Warming is far slower than predicted. Climate policy relies on inadequate models. CO2 is plant food, the basis of all life on Earth. Global warming has not increased natural disasters. Policy must respect scientific and economic re uh, realities. Huh. How long have we been fighting for the truth? How long have we been at countering the lies? And this is where we are now. Okay. A performance given by a 16-year-old at the United Nations with all these adults sitting around applauding her. Yes, here we are. We're going to listen to kids. Not the 500 scientists who wrote the United Nations. There is no climate emergency. We're going to listen to a performance given by a 16 year old. And if you can't see the performance coming right at you, those adults sitting there, they didn't see that this was a contrived 
performance. She is handed a script. All she's doing is reading it. And, well, if you can't get that a 15-year-old in Sweden sitting outside the Parliament building with a sign, um, what is it, we don't have time, and then, oh, wow, a, uh, the founder of We Don't Have Time just happened to see her and take a picture and tweet it out, and suddenly, oh, mainstream media articles are written about her, and she's meeting global leaders, and she's invited to the United Nations to speak, and she is the lead of the climate, the youth climate strike, and people can't see that all of this is contrived, orchestrated, deliberately, to use, exploit children. Because, oh, you can't say anything about children. You can't, how dare you criticize a 16-year-old? Now, this 16-year-old, she's lost. She has lost her life. And you're watching uh, the young budding of a narcissist. You can thank the parents for that. A very sick, twisted individual who has been used by her parents, used by other adults, used to work for them. Do you not See the connection between parenting and the nightmare that we are living? Performance. Like she's auditioning for a dramatic part in a play. It is that we'll be watching you. It's all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. Yet you all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet I'm one of the lucky ones. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you? For more than 30 years, the science has been crystal clear. How dare you continue to look away? How dare you sit up there and lie? It has never been crystal clear, but that's the propaganda. And unfortunately, we've got an awful lot of adults who are also very sick in terms of their mind. They do not know how to think. They are not mature. They are not adults. They have aged bodies but they too are children and they will not look into and will not even hear that there are, well, <laughs> how many, one of the assessments coming out of the IPCC, 53 scientists. Oh, and that was during the Obama years when he said 97% of scientists around the world, everything is an abject lie. And what we have is a tremendous amount of facts and evidence to counter that lie. And here we are, here we are, listening to this performance by a 16 year old. And she says, the science is crystal clear. And there's no mention, is there any mention anywhere on mainstream media? about these 500 esteemed scientists. 
scientists who have written to the United Nations September 23rd and they're still going on with this climate science uh, summit and they have this and come here saying that this 16 year old giving her her performance she's acting none of it is real any mention of these scientists anywhere no of course not listen to this and if you can't see that this is contrived that she is just reading a script literally i mean there she is looking down reading her script and she's just she's a parrot for the adults who gave her that script adults use children to manipulate to achieve their ends it's a means to an end so she's sitting there saying how dare you i say to all of the adults how dare you use children like this ticks and solutions needed are still nowhere in sight you say you hear us and that you understand the urgency but no matter how sad and angry i am i do not want to believe that because if you really understood the situation and still kept on failing to act, then you would be evil, and that I refuse to believe. And yet the evil is actually coming out of the United Nations, coming out of the IPCC, coming out of these, these uh, NGOs and these movements that are created by adults. And they're living a very comfortable lifestyle. They will not have to face the consequences that are coming to us really quickly. What are some of the consequences? Oh, well, um, how about eating meat could be banned like smoking. Top barrister, this is out of the UK, but all, oh, this is all United Nations driven. Okay, so. Don't think what happens in the UK will not happen in the US. Uh-uh, no. It will happen all over. Yeah, criminalize those who eat meat and produce it. Ranchers, watch out. How about this? With, uh, sent to me by a subscriber whom I'd like to thank just yesterday. Drilled maggots for human consumption. Grilled maggots? Swedish Sustainable Food Project teaches kids to eat insects and garbage. See, this is also just about humiliation. Humili because, well, those malignant narcissists, the psychopaths, the quote-unquote uh, elite, they're the elite, that's what we call them, who are, I don't know a word that could capture these people, uh, uh, that could really define, describe them. They're beyond disgusting. They're beyond not having any moral cord. They're beyond, there's something, there's something quite different than the ordinary human being. Uh, they're subhuman. Do you think they'll be eating maggots? Uh, we're already seeing the hypocrisy. Al Gore, right? Al Gore. Hasn't he become quite fat? What is he munching on? Maggots? Really? Or is he eating steak? They fly to their climate summits on jets. They want us to give up flying. They drive around in SUVs, but we have to give up cars. We are already being controlled in terms of how much electricity, oh, the power outages we've got to, yeah, power outage, PG and E in California, turning off the power uh, because there's wind today and well, we're preventing wildfires. Okay.
we've got a lot of idiocy going on and we are living now idiocracy you know that that movie uh, surrounded by idiots who just buy everything that they hear from mainstream media they just believe the horseshit over and over and over again um, Al Gore the mansions uses uses the amount of electricity that is like 20 times just for one home and I think it's in one month that guy uses electricity to power his mansion one mansion 20 times more than a family would in a year I'm downplaying how much electricity his one mansion you know he, okay are you getting the hypocrisy these people don't believe what they're saying therefore they don't have to change their lifestyle because they don't believe it and well they put their lifestyle right smack in front of your face so their lifestyles should beg questions in everybody's mind if it was such a dire emergency and this planet is well we've got now 11 years left that's it 11 years and you listen to the 16 year old how dare you how dare you you know and she goes on. The popular idea of cutting our emissions in half in 10 years only gives us a 50% chance of staying below 1.5 degrees and the risk of setting off irreversible chain reactions beyond human control. 50% may be acceptable to you, but those numbers do not include tipping points, most feedback loops, additional warming hidden by toxic air pollution all the aspects of equity and climate justice really <laughs> okay the manifesto for the youth climate strike which I've tried to find online I cannot find it anywhere but very little of it and you have to kind of stretch your imagination to connect the environment with that manifesto it's not about protecting the environment. It's about controlling every aspect of your life. Uh, and groups that, that really need to uh, be first and foremost thought of, minorities, disabled, LGBT, um, and women, they will be more affected by climate change why why is mother nature that selective I don't think so uh, this is a leftist communist movement that is literally taking over the world but people can't oh you're just a crazy nut job because they can't fathom there could be that kind of evil in the world well you can't fathom it that's why these people have been so successful that's why they're getting close to finally uh, putting the nail in the co coffin and bringing in that new world order I I am really okay you want to know what this is <laughs> yeah tasty waste that's what Obama and Clinton's and uh, the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers and and Bill Gates and uh, Bezos you know that's what they're gonna be eating tasty waste <laughs> all right the toy food it's toy food uh, this is the idea of play food from the future 
It is for the kids to acquire a taste for food considered marginally edible or unsavory by today's standard by using 3D printed toys. Toy food should accustom children and parents to the idea that the food of the future contains ingredients that many of today's adults would reject. This doesn't beg questions in adults' mind. This doesn't beg questions. Really? Each toy shows a category of sustainable food that children are prob probably not used to, but which we will have to start eating in the future if we are to save the planet. Yes. Sustainable Food Project Manager claims that this is vital for mankind's survival. Mankind's survival. Climate change. 500 scientists write the UN. There is no climate emergency. And it would be cruel to implement policies because it will, it will uh, create consequences for the majority of the, mm, what the elite consider us, cattle, useless eaters. It will create tremendous suffering for us. We have to change our lifestyle. The elite don't. Mm, something's wrong with this picture. Seems the elite wants to enslave us and humiliate us. Yes, eat those bugs. And the fools lapping this up. As if it's true, it's vital for mankind's survival. Frightening to see. Frightening to see. Uh, how about eating your grandmother, your mother? Swedish scientists advocate eating humans to combat climate change. Cannibalism of corpses will become necessary due to effects of climate change. Uh, these scientists, yeah, he made the controversial presentation to Swedish, Swedish TV during a Future of Food conference. Bugs, garbage, and, well, your relatives. The scientist acknowledges the many taboos this idea would have to overcome. Okay. Um, ban cars from outside schools to protect children from air pollution. 90% of parents and residents. 97% of scientists around the world. They all agree. Man is causing global warming. Who said that? The great leader of the free country. Obama. Abject lie. When you see these statistics on mainstream media, you can bet it's a lie. 90% of parents and residents, and this is in the UK, but it does not matter. Okay. Uh, no more picking your children up with a car. They don't want, uh, it's just too much pollution. So you have to figure out, I don't know, bike, use public transportation, walk, get rid of the car. And that is, well, part of the plan here. Uh, you won't be driving, uh, but your great representatives like AOC, she'll still be driving that SUV, but you won't. You'll be moved into a really tiny, tiny apartment, stack and packs, in a mega region, and I have plenty of videos. The videos are not my opinion, facts and evidence. And let me just say, your opinion doesn't matter. It is not the same weight as facts and evidence. Even if you believe it is, it is not. It is not. So you can go to my playlist. You can go to weather modification, geoengineering, climate change, global warming fraud, 
Agenda 21 slash 2030. And yeah, they want you out of your cars and living in little stack and pack apartments. Uh, yeah, Germany announces massive climate plan. Merkel, you think she's going to be not flying, not driving SUVs? You think any of these people are going to give up their security, uh, but they want your guns? Well, uh, I'm talking about Americans, but all right. Yeah, it was. It, it truly, it was a marathon overnight talk that dragged on for 18 hours. That's how much these people work. The coalition reached an agreement for many measures and an annual monitoring mechanism on meeting climate targets, electric vehicles, or public transportation. You will have to get rid of your car, and eventually all of this will be mandated. You'll have to get rid of that, um, you know, the car with the combustion, engine thing oh and the electric vehicle well too bad if you can't afford it public transportation 50 billion euros 55 billion um, uh, dollars and who's going to be paying for it you the German people not Merkel not the elite you increased taxes funds from a national carbon trading scheme when 500 scientists just yesterday wrote the United Nations, there is no climbing, uh, climate emergency. The models the IPCC use, unfit. How many times have you heard that from scientists? IPCC, their assessments, they are worthy only of the nearest trash can. So the, uh, the banning of cars, let's see, uh, hang on for one minute. So yeah, getting back to banning cars from outside school to protect children from air pollution because parents, well, you got to pick up your child, you sit, the car is idling, and then your child comes running into the car and you drive away. You need to stop that. Uh, this, whole, this whole agenda is driven by the United Nations. And they have these leftist, Democrat, socialists pushing this. This is a push towards communism. Yang. So M MSNBC hosted a two-day climate change forum focused on Democrat presidential candidates. Yang. Andrew Yang, at that point, I guess he was surging in the polls. I don't know. But what did he say? The private car ownership? Got to go. It's got to go. Not sustainable. We might not own our own cars. Climate change is an existential threat, and we need to recognize that we're already living through the negative effects. That's right. Uh, Andrew Yang, you want to debate some of those 500 scientists that just wrote the United Nations, there is no climate emergency? Probably not. How about this? Theology students confess climate sins while sitting in front of a bunch of potted plants. Right? Really? This is how crazy our world has become. Churches, all institutions infiltrated to get the job done. And that job is reshaping the world for a new world order those who are still rolling their eyes, claiming that we're conspiracy theorists, you're ignorant. You love your ignorance. You're willful. You choose ignorance over being truly informed. Really? You're choosing to be stupid? Choosing to be an idiot? 
choosing to be that useless eater that the quote-unquote elite believe that you are? Wonderful. And so many are proud of it. Christian institutions all over America. You got these theological students confessing their sins to potted plants. Well, when you've got the Pope coming out and saying our duty is to obey the United Nations? What? Our duty is to obey the United Nations? I thought it was God we were supposed to be obeying Francis. I thought it was those Ten Commandments we should be obeying. Oh, we're to obey the United Nations. And people can't see how corrupt is the Vatican? Just another institution working to establish this new world order. And United Nations, the sole government for corporations, for the elite. Uh, you can't see through this? Please turn that switch on, critical thinking. Please. It's very important. Very important because all of us will be eating insects and garbage. And aren't we? Yeah, there was, I think in California, recycled wastewater. That's your drinking water. Okie dokie. Uh, how, you know, when, why single family homes are obsolete? This was in 2011. If you do some research, you will see prior to 2011, whole lot. Universities writing white papers, writing um, studies on how the single family home is no longer, no longer sustainable. Yeah, they're getting rid of the single family home. And development in our country uh, has come to pretty much a grinding halt. Single family homes, especially. But what is thriving? Multi-family homes. Why investing in multi-family homes is a must for 2019. These are the stack and packs they want you in. The stack and packs. And they actually have published evidence that they're manipulating us. This is the Joint Center for Housing Studies, Harvard University, overcoming opposition to multifamily rental housing. A whole lot of papers. How the United Nations is to handle manipulating people to believe in climate change. Universities, colleges, how to overcome, well, how to overcome the truth in people's minds to adopt their lies. Overcoming opposition to multifamily rental housing. Yeah, because, you know, well, let's see, resistance to multifamily rental housing is a growing phenomenon in communities across the country. Uh, citizen resistance to multifamily rental housing is not a humorous issue. In fact, community opposition to these development projects runs smack up against powerful demographic trends. And the population growth in the United States continues at a high level. Anybody who says to you, there's too many people on the planet, you have to realize you are facing somebody who is a parrot. They're not a human being. They're just parroting back what they've heard from mainstream media. Uh, there's a fertility crisis. And that comes from reports published by the United Nations, World Health Organization, and mainstream media has also reported on it. For years, the recent years, they have been reporting on a worldwide fertility crisis, which means less people are being born. United States, fertility crisis. Less people are being born. Oh, and a recent article coming out of mainstream media, more people are dying earlier and less people are being born. 
which means the population's going down, not up. You are fed lies. You want to believe lies for your entire life. Know that you are a danger to humanity. You are a danger to all, and you don't have much of a moral core. Your beliefs, you can believe all the crap you want about yourself, but if you don't do the research to find out what is happening right now in our world, you have put your side, well, just that dichotomous thinking, right? Democrats good, Republican bad, all right. This is evil versus good. You put yourself on the side of evil. You are the useful idiot helping the elite to enslave us all. Uh, enjoy your insects. Enjoy living in a little stack and pack. Or how about living in a... Uh, well, how about a, a sewer, a sewer pipe? Here, just, just posted yesterday, New American, population control is the ultimate goal of the climate change cult. Not only in wanting less of us, because the less cattle the elite have to manage, to monitor, it's better for them. Uh, yeah, it is a very big, broad plan. But when you've got trillions of dollars and you've been stealing money from the ordinary people for decades on end, one thing about evil people, they get the job done. We, on the other hand, fight one another over the, the stupidest, uh, insignificant thing. They get the job done. Why can't we kind of follow that pattern and get the job done for good? But, yeah, here. Uh, pod housing. Pod housing in San Francisco type of co-housing where tenants or members pay a fee for basically a bed in a building shared by many others. No private bathroom or kitchen or opod, opod tube houses, sewer pipes now being made into mini apartments for urban dwellers. So, <laughs> the American dream? It has shifted, don't you think? Uh, now you can own your furnished sewer pipe, have all the bugs you want to eat, live in a dorm room with a dorm room refrigerator to you know make sure those insects don't go bad, and you can have grandma for dessert. This is where it's heading. This is what is actually happening. This is no joke. And those opods, yeah, they look like they come out of some science fiction movie. And if I'm not mistaken, if my memory serves me correctly, uh, doesn't this look like the housing in A Brave New World, that movie? <laughs> well, that's where we're going. So all links are below. Uh, adults, Hi. you're going to listen. You're going to listen to a 16-year-old actress or 500 scientists. I don't know. It's your choice. You still have free will, at least for the moment.